Pico di Ario. Had to go down a little bit and hike up. Let's look at the car park. Madness. Absolute madness. We're able to catch some of the sunrise. Ooh. Check it out. It's so busy up here. So many people. It's beautiful. Good morning. Let's check this out. Look how look how many people. Look at that all over there. plan we're gonna start hiking the route miss watching the sunrise over there because we'll get it on the hike anyway just they're not coming right above the clouds because the crowds here are crazy and anybody coming here to hike it come as early as you possibly can for parking and just surf with the crowds now just a viewpoint oh, just... and uh yeah, it's madness. Madness. And this is about 20 past 7 in the morning. But... You can see why. meters and this is such a beautiful walk i'm gonna stop recording for a little bit because i need to let this soak in Railings on the side. I'll tell you what, this is some of the most beautiful views I've actually seen. Oh. One hat, two hat. Free hat. Huh? Graveyard round here. Everyone's hats get blown off. But look at this. And again, everything is signposted so nicely here. The paths are so well maintained. And at the end, I'll kind of tell you. Once I've done it, if you are watching this to get some references in my fitness right now, it looks like, if you can hear me from the wind, currently I think you need zero mountaineering experience. The paths are so well maintained. I don't think we've got like any ridge walks. We don't have any scramble ascents. Uh, we don't need any map reading, so mountaineering experience, if you've ever climbed a mountain, you can knock this one out of the park. It's 
solid. I've got a tag along. See you later, mate. That torch is a must. There are puddles everywhere. So far, I want to say again because it was a bit windy at the start. Make sure you come super early because we didn't get any space in the car park. We had to park on the road and we arrived at about five past seven in the morning and it was ramoed. Um, and yeah, fitness level so far moderate. I mean, if you don't walk get a few walks in before you do it because of the amount of steps but if you're generally just i'll say normal yeah so far not too bad i might be swallowing my words so busy that uh, it's not really there's a lot of steps but it's not really the steps that are difficult it's just navigating the amount of people because you can be stuck behind some people that are obviously a little bit slower and then quicker people want to get past you and everything but check out and there's trail runners British trail runners which is pretty funny Wow, look at this place. This place is wicked. The trees. Wow. To hug a tree. I'm definitely gonna have to hug a tree. Oh. all those rocks let's try to get one in there got my rock let's whack that in rubbish game anyway this boy is running away The top has had to come off because the sun is beating. It must be about in its high 20s. It's going to get hotter. And look, all those clouds. Whew. 
absolutely gorgeous. I want a good looking man in here, which you are. Not me, bro, not me. I could stand up here for ages and it's so like lush and green. Look at those clouds over there. She's socializing as well. So it's 0.5 kilometers to the top. And there's a building up there. Which is pretty wicked. Let's crack on. So I thought I'd do an update on what the actual walk is like. Everything's actually, everything's steps. So oh my god, people are gonna think I'm a weirdo, but f screw it. Everything's steps, so it's not actually a hard hike, nothing technical. It's actually quite easy. Uh you just need to be fairly fit I suppose or just motivated thank you we're on our way down and um, we'll see what the traffic's like it took us two hours from Oreo Ario whatever it is to get to the Riviera so hopefully the way down should be quicker Busy already. Footwear as well. I think some of this trainers are probably best. Yeah, trainers are probably best. I mean, you don't need much ankle support, you just need something comfortable. Look at those crowds. <laughs> Next time I'm sticking this on a time lapse. Oh, that's crazy. I'm in heaven. Selfie. She's run off. <laughs> I can't find her. Look. She 
running away from me because she's embarrassed. Got her. back to Pico Arario. I don't know how you pronounce it but on the way back it's a bit harder because it's like a steeper climb. It's still good. It's steep. Horrendous. the early Rio altitude 1810 Torres oh, <laughs> didn't record it because we started running but let me swap angles we parked the car down there on the corner so I don't know if it's gonna be there anymore and we're back to the start so um it took us about four and a half hours there and back of walking um on the way there to pico rivi whatever it is it's easy very easy if you've hiked anything in the uk scarfell pike ben nevis all of that lot you'll find that a breeze on the way back it's a lot steeper and that's where your legs burn a little bit but you know as long as you're able to walk it's fairly breezy so nothing's too difficult um, yeah back to the car in one piece it's all groovy I hope that video was all right and informative See you later.